So today I'll be breaking down the mock Coke commercial that I did in the last video. And if you haven't seen that video yet, I highly suggest you watch it as well. And if you want to see more behind the scenes videos and how I edit them, make sure to like, subscribe, hit the bell notification button so that whenever I post a new video, you guys will be notified. So like I mentioned in part 1, I shot the entire video using the Canon G7X Mark II. I had the dial set to video mode and shot it entirely in 1080p, 60 frames per second, so that I had the option to add slow motion to the clips in post. So now I'll quickly break down how I edited each clip so that you guys have an idea of how I did it. So the first shot I added in is a grand shot of the coke bottle at a lower angle. After about a half a second of showing the clip, I added in the speed ramp effect to slow it down. To speed ramp the part I want, I pressed R on the keyboard to bring up the retiming options tool, then I selected the part that I wanted to slow down. Once selected, I went to the retiming options tool and selected automatic speed. This will slow the part I selected down to the perfect amount based on the frame rate I shot in. So in this case, 40%. I also added in some stabilization to smooth out the clip. I used a plugin made by Pixel Film Studios called Stabilizer 2.0 to stabilize the footage. I really like using their stabilization plugin since you're really able to pinpoint and choose certain spots on the subject to lock in on and stabilize. And it does a really good job doing it. For this specific shot, I targeted the letter A in Coca and tracked it. Then I hit export once it finished tracking. Here's a shot of it before without the Stabilizer 2.0 added on. And this is the stabilized version. And if you guys are interested in trying out the Stabilizer 2.0 plugin for Final Cut Pro 10, I'll leave a link in the description below for you guys to check it out. Pixel Film Studios created such an amazing plugin that anyone can use, from beginners to amateurs to even the professionals. So if you're interested, make sure to use my promo code PRIMETIMEPIXEL and you'll get 30% off the purchase of the Stabilizer 2.0. And this is only valid for the first 500 people, so get on it guys. Next I topped it off with a green screen overlay shot of snowflakes which I found on Storyblocks. I was a bit iffy about adding this in, but I just decided to leave it in, uh, it went well with the overall look. To blend it in, I just used the keyer effect and added that on top of the clip to remove the green portion from the background. Then I changed the opacity to about 20%. The last thing I did was add the sound of Santa in the background and the sound of strong stormy winds, which I also found on Storyblocks.com. For the second clip, I used a shot where I focused on the bottle cap and then raised the camera up. What I did first was reverse the clip under the retiming options tool. So this way it made it look like I started from the top and went down to the cap, which was already in focus. Then I slowed down the clip to 40%. I then chose a portion of the beginning clip and sped that up, just so it wasn't slow moving down the whole time. Putting it in added a more dramatic look to it. Then I used the stabilizer plugin again by Pixel Film Studios to lock in on the cap so it stays centered when I raise the camera up. Here's how it looks without the stabilization and with the stabilization. I stretched out the stock footage of snowflakes to show on this clip as well. And I also used the same stormy wind sound clip continuing it from the first one. The third shot was a bit more simple, it was just a shot of me opening up the bottle cap with a bottle opener. I used an effect called Cinematic Move by Ryan Angle to give it a subtle rotating movement towards the bottle. I dragged that effect on top of the clip I want to add movement to, then I adjusted the rotation and zoom amount so that it covers up the entire frame. I stretched out the snowflake footage to show on this as well. For the sound effects, I just used the actual sound I captured of the bottle opening and just faded it in. The fourth shot is a quick shot of me dropping ice on glass. I didn't do anything special to this scene as it was just a quick one. I just used the same sound from the clip that I captured and extended the cinematic move effect to slightly add some rotation to the clip as well. You can barely see it though since it goes by so quickly. The fifth shot is the grab and pour shot. 
So initially, I wanted to use a longer shot of the sequence of my hand coming in, grabbing the bottle, and then pouring it. But since I wanted to make the edit short, I started at the point where the bottle was in the air already, just about to pour out the coke into the mug. I let it run in regular speed up until the coke hits the ice, then I use the speed ramp effect again to add in some slow motion just to show more of the coke pouring in. I didn't record the proper pouring sound from the coke hitting the ice, so I just added in sound effects of soda pouring. Now the sixth clip I used was the pouring shot but from a bird's eye view. I slowed down the entire clip to 40%, I added some stabilization using Stabilizer 2.0, but I focused on the one ice cube in the mug. I think it made it look better and a little less shakier. Here's without stabilization. And here it is with stabilization. I extended the sound of the soda pouring from the previous clip, plus I added in another similar sound of soda pouring, but a bit more subtle. The seventh clip is a quick shot of the mug from the front. Didn't do anything special with this clip, but just added the sound of coke fizzing and the cinematic move rotation effect added on as well. The last clip I used was the same shot from the previous clip, but it's towards the end of the pour where you see more of the coke fizzing at the top. I stretched out the fizz sound effect from the last shot as well. The cinematic move effect also stretched out to this clip until the end of the video. So one key thing I suggest is color correcting your footage before you apply any color grade or LUTs onto it. It really makes a big difference on how your overall video looks in the end. I use one of Daniel Schiffer's LUTs called Pastel, which I'll also link in the description down below, and it just made the colors pop out even more. Now here is the full edit again. So let me know if you guys want more of these type of videos. Leave me a message in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear what you guys think. It's my time in my prime. This the prime time. Pretty content. Are you content? No nonsense. Just a go-getter on a conquest. Hey.